Whenever you all are ready, can you explain what you've put together? Yeah. Uh, so we have designed a game, a space shooting game. So in this game, we have. Uh, wait, I can show you. So this is our game. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, around ten particles who are moving in orbital motion, mm -hmm. and then we have a, a shooter. So we can control the shooter. Uh, left, right, top, that with a keypad. and bottom with the keypad, uh -huh. and then we uh, fire the enemies. Okay. So there's a timer who is which is uh, counting how many seconds have passed, uh -huh. and the main objective is of the game is to kill all the particles, and then the time timer record timer is uh, how you decide like uh, who wins it. Okay. So if you hit a particle, does it disappear? Yeah. Okay. And the score will add 100. And the score adds 100. Sometimes it's very difficult to yeah. select. There you go. Okay, so now it's reporting your score and your total time. Yeah. Neat. Graphics okay. And our uh, computation for our enemy particles happening in our barrel. Okay, so the the movement of the particles is being updated in a Verilog module. In the Verilog, and then we have a PIO port which gets the values, and then we print its report. I, so the FPGA updates the position and communicates that back to the yeah. arm, yes. who then draws yes. it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So do you are you clocking the Verilog off the arm? Or does the Verilog have a separate clock? It's off the arm. Off the arm? You're sending a clock input? Okay. Really nice. Thank you.